Another little tip too is don't get any sticky tape on the pattern. Okay, if I put sticky tape here and if I left that on the pattern, when I flip it over onto the front you'll see that sticky tape. So you must remember when you tape it down to put the sticky tape on the card front that you're, that you're sticking it to or on another piece of paper that you've already stuck down. Okay, not not on the paper, not on this pattern. Okay. That's one important thing you need to remember. Alright, number 11. We're nearly finished. It's a quick pattern, this one. And I know the ladies at my card group enjoyed doing this card. Number 11. Oops, see what I've done. You need to remember not to get that on your pattern. The ladies get a bit distressed when I walk around and I see sticky tape on their pattern and I rip it off <laughs> politely and say, no, 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 that's not how you do it. Okay. Um, uh, but that's how you learn. You've got to um, do things properly to get a nice result. Okay, number 12. We get totally hooked on this type of card making. I did for a long time. And I still enjoy it. I enjoy making the patterns. Okay, number 13 is just one space that's left. So all you need to do is just cut it to size and cover up the hole. Don't need to fold that last one. Okay, now look at that. You've created a big mess. No, not really. It's actually going to look really nice when we flip this over. Okay, carefully take it off your pattern and having this on a plastic page actually helps you to get this off a whole lot easier and ta da there's your finished dress pretty cool eh so just trim it up trim up anything that's hanging over any tape or extra paper Look at that sticking to me everywhere. Okay. Now I'll just move this pattern off the table so that can go back into a storage book then to store for later. And another little tip too is that with your pattern here you can cut a template and actually store it in in with there. So when you want to go and make another card you don't have to um, put it on your light box and trace it again. All you need to do is grab your template out, sit that over your card and trace around that with a pencil. And I've found that that works so well. It saves you heaps of time. Okay, so I'll put that aside. I'm going to go ahead and just do a little bit of sponging with some green ink on the back of here just to match in with my dress. Now you could do this before, sometimes it's better to do it before you've actually, whoops, actually um, folded the, pa the papers and if you wanted to run your card front through the cuddle bug do it beforehand, otherwise you're going to emboss your whole your whole um, folding, which might look not, not might not look that nice. I've got to get my tongue untied. Okay, right. So that's my sponging. Now, show you how to attach it to your card. You need to make sure. Hang on, I've just got a little bit of tape hanging over there. Just make sure you trim all that off. Make sure when you tape it to your card that you've got a good amount of tape all the way around, right to the edge. You need to do this, otherwise your card front will pop up because of the bulk of the paper underneath. 
So go ahead and this is a little bit time consuming but you have to do this with this kind of folding. I haven't got any of those fancy run along tape things. Okay, I'll put some there. Okay, and make sure you've got some in the middle too. Just to hold all that down. Okay, and the fun bit going along and tearing all that off. I have a lot of ladies. I have a lot of trouble with that. That's where your fingernails come in handy. So we've got some. Okay. Let's get in there. One doesn't want to come off. Just make sure it's a good, strong, double-sided tape. Some of them can pop up. Okay. It's done. Alright, I've chosen an orangey type coloured card just to match the colours in my dress. Yeah, I'll just put that on here. Make sure that's all stuck down. Okay, now the double sided tape we put under here has helped to stick that down and stop that from flapping up. Sometimes if you've got big shapes that come in you need to put a little bit of double sided tape behind that as you're doing the folds. Okay so now I'm going to ink up my stamps and put some put some fancy frills coming off the dress. Now the beauty of these clear stamps is they're clear like they say and you can see where you're stamping them if I can see past the video. Okay what I want to do is put the point of this stamp right here at the bodice of her dress. I'm going to stamp over the whole lot. Just rock it a little bit so that you get it all. Don't get too worried that I've missed a little bit there. I'm going to put another stamp on too to um, add to the frills. So I'm going to use the, the meeting point of this stamp back here at the bodice again. Make that go over the top. Okay, so that adds to the frills of the dress. I've gone ahead and stamped a stamp that says you rock. Just put a bit of foam tape on the back. I don't get too concerned about using all these dimensionals and all this sort of stuff. I just go to the cheap shop, buy a $2 roll of foam tape and cut it to the size that I want. Okay, I want to put that up here in the corner and you could go ahead and you could add some little jewels to here um, you could go ahead and um, I'm just going to put some little spots of glitter on those spots okay and that's the card. Nice and quick. And there's lots and lots of different colour combinations you can do on there. So I'll just show you the other one that I made. This is the one we did in class. Okay. Now, what you do with the cutout. Some shapes, you know, you just can't say. They just don't look anything. But ones like this that you can use on another card. And this is what we did with our cutout. Smooth that. We made this card. 
Okay, all I did was run the, the shape through the cuddle bug, add your stamps, and we made one of these nice rolled scalloped rows and put on the side of the dress, put some ribbon on, and you've got another card. So you've got two cards out of one pattern that you can try. Okay, so I hope you give this a try. It's really fun, it's addictive, I will warn you of that. But um, yeah, don't be scared of the corner fold, the whole thing. It's not that hard. Okay, see you later.